Good evening, lovely tubers. Boy Mexican back again for a follow-up video. I apologize about the last video. It was pretty long, and I wasn't able to cover all of the material I wanted to cover, so I'm going to go ahead and get into that today for the rest of it. Starting out with OTS um, 1, we have Masked Hero Dark Lord Ultimate sitting around 47, 46. Troll and Lockboard Super is about 27 to around 30. Vanity's Fiend is around 19 to 25. Bountiful Artemis is around 11. We have Typhoon Super around 5. Anti Spell Fragrance Super around 2 plus. Imperial Iron Wall. I really like this card a lot. It's pretty cheap. It's under the $2 mark right now, which is a pretty good price. 3 to the $1 mark is kind of my range for particular cards, such as these. There is an Ultra Rare that came out of the Legendary Collections for an amazing set. I really highly encourage you guys to take a look at that. And Legendary Collection 3 as well. A lot of high rarity staple cards. Really cheap. Um, so, I'll be honest. Um... I don't know, it's a, it's, you know, I, I would definitely say I like the Ultra better. Um, Super's a little bit harder to get, per se, but, um, they're pretty much the same price. I mean, almost. The Ultra is about 50 cents more. Um, so I'll check this out. It's definitely a good Floodgate side card, and it's going to come inside, in and out of the meta, so it's something to look at. Moving on here, we have uh, Petrulia, which is about two. Monkey Board, this is a currently a ban card, and it's super cheap. For the most part, well, it, I mean, it was cheaper, it's about $2 right now. Um, it is currently banned, so, you know, ban cards are pretty unpredictable. You never really know when they're going to come back. This is the highest rarity of this card, to my understanding, as well, with uh, Skull for Bat Joker. This is significantly cheaper, though. And then um, Lizard Draw. So, honestly, I hate Pendulums. That's like the worst mechanic in the game for me. I mean, I've never really invested any kind of anything into Pendulum stuff, but there is uh, four supers here for you. So, and one band one, um, which may see play when it comes back, if it comes back. But I'm an Advent fan that everything comes back eventually, so. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Monkey Board comes back sometime in life. I don't know if it's going to be erratic or not, but um, we have Mighty Draco Slayer here for about 10 cents for the super. And um, there's another version of this, I think, that comes in later on that's super, which is uh, kind of an interesting card, too. It's one of the Cs. I don't know. There's a couple different ones, but um, they're all kind of interesting. In their own way. Ultimate Rare Geki is sitting around 32, 33. Ultimate Rare Kraz is about 15. Super Rare Fiendish Rhino is about 7. Super Rare Gamma Seals are 7. I personally like the Secret Rares better. Um, there's kind of a toss up. A lot of players are one sided on the Supers and then the other ones like the Secrets. I personally like the Secrets. I mean, it's two jumps on a rarity bump. And it's the new flowing from Battle of Legends, which just looks so beautiful. So, um, for about dollar to two dollars more, I would definitely get the secret. I wouldn't drop this much. This is pretty expensive for this card. I'd wait for it to go down. It is a really good card. I know some people are using Lava Golem as an alternative for certain stipulations, but I would definitely get the secret on that. Uh, Fog King Ultimate Rare is about seven. Super rare ragged gloves is about three. Problem mine up, crime monarch. I don't know why these pictures aren't loading. Is about three. Super quantum blue layer. Super rare is about one fifty. Master strict super rare is one twenty five. I'm wondering how much the ultra rare is. The ultra rare is definitely the best print, or it's at least it's the highest rarity. It's probably pretty expensive. Yeah, it's actually. Not that bad, at least for Unlimited. Unlimited is $2. Let's dip in here to see if we can find a first edition. It already jumps to 5 so it's getting pretty pricey. First edition is going to be quite a bit. This is a really old school 
original first generation set. So first editions are going to run you about nine dollars, rounding up. Um, which is pretty expensive, honestly. This card doesn't float long enough in the meta to validate that high of a price, honestly. But it's an old card, and I get it. It's first edition and it's first generation core set, so. Uh, it is what it is on that, I guess, for now. System of Down. Um, this is this is pretty good. This, so there's two rarities on this card, two hollow foil prints, so ultimate rare and super rare, if I'm not mistaken. This is only a dollar right now. I know I have a play set of these. Here, here's the ultimate rare right here. Um Cybernetic Revolution, super old set. This is a fantastic card though. Let me just take a look at first edition really quick. Because this is like the ultimate side card against machines. And machines kind of come in and out, you know, they have their phases in the meta. And this is just such a blowout card, like, this this card is so powerful. I think this is one of the most powerful magic cards in the game, like, to date. This card is, I know it's a bold statement, but it's a really, really good card. It's just a, another blowout card. Um, first edition is going to run you around 10. There's one for 10. Um... And then, yeah, it's pretty much 10 and it goes up to well, like almost $12. So, still pretty expensive. Honestly, the Ultra Rare looks real, Ultimate Rare looks really nice. But for the cheap price of the Super Rare, it's still hollow. Again, I'm kind of biased because I don't really mind Super Rares. I think for the most part, Super Rares are fine. It's still hollow foil. Um, but for a dollar versus 10 to $12 for the Ultimate, I would just get the Super Rare. Um, it does the same thing, and it still looks pretty nice for what it is, and it's just an all-around powerful card. So, um, yeah, this is this is this card is so good. Like, I don't know how people don't have this card. I know I specifically went out and bought this card like solely because it's just such a good card to have when the yeah, time comes. Mithra is about two for the super rare. This is really weird that these uh, pictures are from later. A bunch of commons. Uh, ninju, uh, Ninjutsu Art of Transformation Super Rare is about 9 cents. So the super commons here. Another uh, Ninjutsu card, Art Freezing, is about 20. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this set. Okay, cool. These actually have pictures. Moving on to OTS Pack 3, Swap Frog. Ultimate is about 66 to about 70. Tear Top is about 27, 28, 29. Super Quantum Mechum Beast Crown Pulse is about 13. Tomato True Monarchs is about 5 for the Super. Dupe Frog Super is about 4. Skyrare Super is around 2. Melfall's Gold Driver is about just about a dollar. Magic Deflector. I this so I invested quite a bit in this card. I have multiple copies of this card. And there was a time where there was having a little a little light shed on it and it kind of price crapped a little bit to around three dollars. But it went right back down because it never really saw any play. Um this is the highest rarity, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. I don't know there's common. Yeah, and there's actually not a lot of prints, so the original print common from Abyss Rising old set and the OTS Super Rare. So only two prints, and this being the highest rarity being a super. Um, it's uh, it's pretty good. I like the effect. Um, and I think, you know, for what it is, for a dollar, I think it's a good investment for at least a play set. But that's just me. Got Crow Common over here, but we don't care about that. We go for the DTs and the Supers. This card, Chaos Trap Hole, is another. Um, it actually went down a little bit. This was sitting around like to the two dollar mark. At least that's when I picked up mine. I got. I I have a lot of these as well. Um, light and dark attributes are one of the strongest, if not the most supported. Uh, types are attributes in the game for sure there's so many different light and dark decks and um this is basically like an extra solemn warning it's basically you can like run solemn warning um essentially at four 
with this card. Um, if you're playing a light or dark deck, you know, side it in. I think it's a great side deck card, and this is um, the highest rarity. There's only three prints, the original print being the common and shiny darkness. There it is again, Legendary Collection, Joey's World, really amazing set. Take a look at it. And, um, of course, the super rare here, so that is something to consider as well. Fantastic price as well. I mean, it's just so crazy cheap. Paladin Felgrand, super rare, 34 cents. This uh, this card, I like this card for uh, Satellar Knights. They use this in Call of Haunted. And uh, this is a quarter. This is a quarter dollar for this card for Super Rare. And this is the highest rarity, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there's Rare, and there's a Common, and this is a Super. So it's uh, basically the backup Call of Haunted, essentially. Ignite Reload, Super Rare is 15 cents. I'm going to the last page here. More common business. Cypher Soldier. So I mentioned it in the, uh, the video previous to this, uh, where it's Kinetic Soldier, and it's kind of like the Harpy's brother to Sky Scout, whatever. They changed the name on that. That's what I was trying to say in the other video. All right, moving on to OTS Pack 4. A strike is about $79, $80, and Sync Fusion is around 48 48 49 dollars utopia s the lightning is around 19 went down a little bit i know i picked up mine for 20. uh Kamungus is about four for the supers swirl slime is about uh two dollars ish triple d oblivion king abyss ragnarok is about two rune totem is about three for the supers one day piece super rare this is a really good card um it's kind of like an old school floodgate continuous magic and um i i, I wouldn't get this this is three dollars it's way too expensive for this um oh i'm sorry I'm, I'm i'm thinking of messenger piece but this card's really good too this is draw power this thins out your deck and it can protect you from return um hmm. i got a lot of these as well but not at three dollars. I would wait till about two. Two dollars is a safe bet for the super rare one day piece, in my opinion. Um, by the way, for a messenger piece, you want to go for the original prints. Um, which, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say Magic Ruler maybe is what the original super rares are from. Uh, let's see here, Photon Thrasher Super. This is kind of interesting. This is a this is a this is a hmm. it's kind of been power crept out, but I know there's an ultimate rare as well. Yeah, from the first one. Okay, that's kind of expensive. That's kind of interesting that they gave this card two prints, a uh, super and an ultra, and within four sets, but. Anyway, the super's about two dollars, so there's that. Retaliating C. This is one of the ones I don't know if this is the one I was talking about. This is all the C cards kinda of do different things that are kinda of interesting and they're always like matchy besides Max C of course. Uh, it's just kind of interesting. It's kind of like you special summon, and it's kind of like a like a macrocosmo effect in a way. Um, but super cheap. So I mean, may not ever really see play, may see play, but it's super cheap. So why not get a couple? Um, it does remind me. I do want to go back really quickly and cover Max C because. My personal bet on this next list for April is that Maxi is gonna come off to two or three. Um, I have really ambitious expectations for this list, and I want to cover Maxi a lot, like most people do, because I'm a huge advent that, and my personal pick is the super. Um. 
five dollars for the super that's my range it's a little over right now at 524 this guy's 51 but um <clears throat> yeah that's this one to say if you can get super max c's at five get all over that because max c is coming two three come april just you guys wait we're getting max c baby all right so anyway i just wanted to cover that really quick so it's still a little high but Hope you guys have your max C's. I know I do. Secret and super. Um, Union hanger super for the ABC players is about a buck and a quarter. More metal full stuff about fifty. I apologize. I'm not. I'm not going through like every single card. I kind of am. Kind of not go through. This is kind of a good pickup. This is currently banned. You know. Hopefully. Sometimes Konami brings cards back and just errat errat them, and they just you know go to crap. No one really plays them after that. But this being so cheap and used to be such a powerful card, um, I, would, I may pick up some. Um, not right now though. Even though it's like mad cheap, it's crazy. Anything under a dollar is like legendary cheap in my book, especially if it's at least a super. Um. Pretty much gonna be it for this set. Moving on to the next set, we have OTS Pack 5, Ghost Ogre, and Snow Rabbit. Ghost Ogre, Snow Rabbit is about $78 to $80. Terraforming is about $40. Looks so beautiful. This is my favorite version, of course, of Terraforming. Whiptail is a 20. Very Chill Snow. This is one of my band card um, selections. I think I mention this on my previous videos um i'm waiting for this card it's still for being banned it's slowly going down and slowly going down more and more and more um i'm gonna pick this card up for ones and twos when this card hits ones and twos i'm gonna go out and pick a lot of these cards up because i think eventually it's gonna come off the list and this is just a phenomenal card really cool artwork and the pulling and the super looks really great so be on the lookout for Super Fairy Tale Snow, Snow for the one dollar, two dollar mark, and swipe it up. Lost Wind. This kind of had a hype train a couple months back, and the all round prices, even for the rares, kind of kicked up a little bit. This isn't too bad. Um, I again, I would still wait for maybe around like the three dollar range. Once I said around the three dollar range, I would cap it off at three dollars, and I would pick up the super rares, specifically the super rares. Um, there's plenty of rares out there from the Megatons and from Raging Tempest, but compared to the Super, I mean, the Super is just completely superior in every way. Um, True Draco Apocalypse is about four for the Supers. Disciples is about five. Uh, Dagoran is about four for the Super. Secret Village of Spellcasters. Which I want to take a look at this really quick because I'm really curious what the Crossroads of Chaos original print first editions are looking at. This has always been kind of a pricey card. Um, I think it's kind of silly that they remade it super. I really wish that they didn't do that because that would have kept the price of the Crossroads of Chaos pretty high. Um, I know I just sold one of these, but it was an unlimited one. I don't much care for the unlimited ones. Um, for the original print, you want to go first edition, and surprisingly, it's only about ten dollars, which isn't. Well, I mean, it is kind of expensive, but for this card, going by price trends, this card is usually a lot more. I know there was a time when it was like hitting twenty plus. Um, I think even for the unlimited, and Crossroads of Chaos is a super old set. I want to say five. D's, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's a 5D era synchro, you know, based good stuff like that. Um, so ten dollars for the first editions lightly played. There's two here and then one here. Um, that's that's not too bad, honestly. Um, I don't personally have any use for the card. I think it's a an amazing card. I love the artwork and just a really cool old school card. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I just wanted to show that really quick. Leave that up to you. Absolute zero. This is another like I don't not a big fan of heroes, but I love this fusion. Sometimes they have some really well not sometimes a lot most of their fusions are really badass. 
Um, this Ultra Rare is the highest one from the Magna promotional cards. Which is really sad that the highest. This, this is such a great um, fusion. I think this is my favorite hero fusion by far. And uh, I really think it deserves at least a secret rare print. Um, <clears throat> but all of them, even the common, are worth a little bit of money. Um, Honestly, my pick would, would be the super, but I mean, I, even then, I wouldn't pay three dollars for this uh, um, super. If it was secret, I would pay three dollars for a secret. And I'm not even a hero player. I just think the artwork's really awesome, and its effect is just ridiculously good. I love its effect a lot. I think it's good. Quick fix. Um, this is this is pretty good. You know, if I'm gonna make videos about decors and stuff. And I know I've been personally investing a lot. Like, I pretty much have a whole nine pocket binder of high rarity Zodiac stuff. The only thing I'm missing is Ultimate Rare Rip Tales because they went up a lot because of the hype train or because of whatever. And um, Spirals, like, both of these decks used to be like tier zero, really, really popular top tier decks. And um, I think they may come back and. These are some rarity bumps on these, so and they're all they're under a dollar, so why not get a place it? Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem is a dollar. I feel like this did this come this came hollow somewhere. This really throws me back to the fairy days, the agent days. Look at that legendary collection three Yugi's world. So th this set, I'm telling you, like every video, I just cannot avoid talking about legendary collection three and legendary collection four. There's just so many good cards. I don't seem like good anymore, but just good nostalgia road going back to Agent Fairies era. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was around the time when the Dark World structure deck came out too. In Dark World. And I think it was a Dino Rabbit. I think maybe Dino Rabbit may have been after. I think that was like after the Agent Fairy. Um, another Fairy Tale Tarot card, not nearly as good as Snow, and the price shows super cheap. But if you're trying to kind of go off a theme deck or whatever, that's there. Swing of Memory, super cheap, half dollar. Um, I think this is really good too. There is a um. I'm I'm a big zombie player too, so sometimes sometimes I kind of test with this card. Uh, and it's just really cheap right now. The uh, there's a super rare from Shining Victories, which I have a ton of because I bought so many of the special edition of this. I love this set, one of my all-time favorite sets. And um, yeah, it's uh I don't know. I just it gives you a lot of tokens. And it's super, so I mean, there's that. It's a zombie, it's dark, and I like zombies, but it's just me. Oh, Luna, what's the common? Uh, there is an ultimate rare version of this that kind of gets on the hype train once in a while and actually goes up in value. Um, right now, I think it's relatively expensive. Let's see. I don't think it's that good, though. It's just too situational. Um, it may have been, it was pretty good back in the day. And it's seen times where it's come in and out, but it's just, it's too specific. The whole level six now with like ranks and links and, you know, pendulum scales and a whole bunch of different crazy stuff. It just doesn't really seem irrelevant anymore. So I'm not even really sure why I'm showing it in this video. I'm just going to stay sure the fact that it's an old Raging Battle Ultimate Rare and it kind of has gone up and down through the years. I know there was a time when I invested in it, so I guess it's kind of why I just wanted to put that in there. Alright, moving on to OTS Pack 6, we have Brilliant Fusion at around $30. Invocation, in invocation around $30 as well, which is the ultimates. Deco Tucker around $27, 27 28 29 era. Black Metal Dragon is around 3 this is actually a pretty cool card. I wouldn't pay three dollars for it, but um, for black black uh, red eye stuff, it's kind of cool. If it's cheaper, uh, Lilla Bell Super is around two. Overlord Fusion is two. 
Um, some Paleozoic stuff here is a dollar. Revendred, Revendred, Slayer, Supers, about 80 cents. Winter Bells, about 80 cents. Set Rotation. This card is uh, really cheap right now. And because it's so cheap, and because it's the highest rarity, I'm pretty sure it just has a common as the other versions. Maximum Crisis, Common Short Print, and Megatins. I mean, think about that being a Megaton. No one really bought the Megaton besides me because I'm a loser. Because I thought Konami would give us Secret Rare Ash Blossom. Back when that was a big deal, when you know everyone's hunting for reprints. But now we got the common structure deck, so at least there's that. Um, what was I saying again? Okay, um, so yeah, this this card, uh, I think it's pretty good. I think this card, you know, a lot of decks really rely on their field card, and this could really mess up a uh, field. Uh, dependent deck and it's super cheap right now, so um, it's something to look at. It's about a quarter dollar, so here you guys go. Some more Pal Paleozoic stuff here is about 10 cents. Spirit Master is just a common. We'll talk about that. Some more Paleozoic. All the Paleozoic stuff is super cheap. I mean, I've never built Paleozoic, so I don't really know a lot about the deck. So, I don't know if these cards are good or if they're not really used, but they're, like, all, like, under a quarter. So, it's like, Paleozoic, Palooza, Player, Palooza over here. Moving on to Tournament OTS Pack 7. We have Cosmic Cyclone is about $16. For the Ultimate Link Spider is about 14 Herald of Orange Light is about 8 For the Ultimates... Destrudo. <clears throat> Destrudo is about six. The super. Fossil dig. Now this is interesting. This is about what's well, about three dollars. Um, I yearned so hard for the day to come where Dino Rabbits can be restored restored to full power. I know there's so many crazy decks out right now. Um, it'd be really interesting to see how they would do. Uh, this I hated this era. It was one of those decks that I hated the era when I was there and playing against Dino Rabbits. You know, I had my Dark World deck and I was trying to smash up some Dino Rabbit decks. But um, all these these cards before all these new crazy like busted fast ones came out. You know, with the original X Y Zs like Dolka and Lagia and Rescue Rabbit and the the Vanillas and all that. Like this. If this goes down to about two, um, I think I'm gonna pick pick some up because uh, I don't know. I just I really have a, a a yearning for that era again. I miss that Dino Rabbit format. Now I do. I didn't miss it when I was playing it because I never played Dino Rabbit. I was always trying to beat it. But now I realize it wasn't a wasn't too bad. Now with the kind of crazy stuff that we have right now. Um, Real Magical Library is about three. This has gone up. This used to be a dollar. A dollar for days. I guess the numbers are still three pages, but the numbers started to dwindling a little bit. Maybe that's why. There's 18 here, though, for 275. Um, really good card. Like, this is a really good card. You know, there's always kind of, like, random OTKs or combo decks that always kind of end up sliding this in. This is the only hollow version. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, everything else is just a crappy comment, so definitely the best version here. It's super, it looks really nice, the full length's great. I have a ton myself. Uh, unfortunately, it kind of went up over the last couple of months, though. We have some more Paleozoic stuff, super. Some World Chalice stuff, that's all like a dollar. Battle Tough, again, you know, an old school, really strong um, Metacore deck. You might want to consider it may come back eventually with new support. About fifty cents. This this card is pretty good too. Um with the new I am I'm really wondering with the new uh spellcaster deck that's coming out. I know in one of my previous videos I mentioned about Secret Rare Breaker and maybe if that's gonna come out with some new support with the new deck. Uh but I'm pretty sure it it, it isn't 
Endemon, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that, but, um, maybe, they'll probably have their own field magic card that's gonna come out, but this is pretty good too. Uh, there is a secret rare version, it's 10 cents, like, it's so cheap, it's ridiculous. There was a Dark Savior secret rare, which is about a dollar, which actually does look really nice. I have both the super and the secret, and... Honestly, like this is the, probably the first time in my life I'm going to say that, but I prefer the Super over the Secret, just for the sheer fact that the foiling is really nice. Both of them look really good, but just for the sheer fact that Dark Saviors, um, it was like pretty mass produced, and this one's just going to be harder to get, and the sheer fact that it's literally like nine times cheaper for the Super, um, even though the Secret still is super cheap, I would prefer the Super Rare personally. So, who knows? I don't know if it'll see play with the new structure deck or not. I don't know if the new structure deck's gonna be good or not. But maybe Hype Alone will bring a price up. Who knows? Uh, Zombie World. Uh, really quickly, I'm gonna look at the ultra rare version from, I wanna say, Legendary Collection Joey's World. Legendary Collection for Joey's World. Another fantastic set. You guys know I'm a huge advent of the Legendary Collection sets. You've been following along here, and it's all the way up to $9. So, here we got the Zombie Horde. Since we got Zombie Horde, this thing has stayed at a pretty pretty solidified price. Can't really find one under $9. Um, the majority of these, all these are first edition, so um, I'm not paying $10, $9 for this. I have two copies right now, and I'm just going to wait. I love. The Zombie Horde structure deck, and I am constantly playtesting and kind of experimenting with the new zombie builds. Um, it's not as competitive as I want it to be, unfortunately, but uh, it's really fun. I really, really enjoy playing that deck so much. Zombies is definitely one of my top fun decks right now, or most played. This is really cool, too. Um, Divine Punishment, it's super cheap. It's kind of situational. There is... The condition's kind of hard to meet, depending on what you're, what you're playing, but when you pull it off, it really is a really, really nice counter trap. You get a nice fat negate. Um, but then you have that Sanctuary in the Sky, so, I mean, which you, nowadays isn't too hard to punch out, but it's also kind of hard to protect, but anyway, this is the highest rarity of this, and it's a quarter, so I'm going to put that out there. Book of Life 2, kind of going off of uh, zombie stuff, I'm pretty sure the original print for Arnett Guardian 1st editions are still relatively cheap. What's just happening here? I'm trying to get a Book of Life. Um, okay, cool. So here it is. I love this card. This is a Monster Reborn slash kind of remove stuff from your opponent's graveyard from play at the same time. Um, I personally like the uh, first edition original print from first generation Planet Guardian. And the first editions are sitting at like at two dollars. Oh my goodness, this is this is so this is so cheap. I love this card so much. Um I have a lot of these already. That's kind of a thing though. So I really don't want to I don't really don't need to buy any because I have so many because I've been kind of collecting zombie stuff for a while now. Um, I, re I actually recently just got zombie stuff, so, um, anyway, this is really cheap, though, for $2, I would definitely get that. If I didn't already have tons of copies, I would get these, I'd get these three. Um, $2 is definitely, I would be willing to invest in this card. Um, but then again, I mean, I'm just a really big zombie fan, so, you guys can decide that for yourself. Blazing Eyes. And that's pretty much going to be it for this set. Moving on to the last two OTS packs, we have eight, which we drove off for an ultimate rare, sitting around 60. Uh, Kagari is around 27. 27, 26. Scapegoat is 20 to 23. The silly reprint, they reprinted Secret Village as the same rarity, which I thought was really um, I, mean, I don't know. I like the Crossroads of Chaos one better. Um, $4 for that one, though. Machine Duplication is about 3 
The tokens are about two under clock. Takers are about two for the super. Open Bamboo Sword is about a dollar. I think this got reprinted in. What was that last subset that just came out? The one that had grandkids? Or am I thinking of something else? Yeah, I have to be thinking of something else. One of the bamboo cards is contained in there. The one that allows you to draw two is the one I'm thinking of. Anyway, Waking the Dragon. Okay, so this had some hype. It went up for a while. It was like around three dollars for a while. Um, this card is super good. Um, is there? Well, I don't know. Well, super good is kind of an overstatement. It's situational, but if you pull it off, it is amazing. And especially if you have a super busted card that has a ridiculous summoning condition you can just slap out for free. Um, the only downside about this card is it pretty much has to be controlled pretty much by your opponent. It has to get popped off by your opponent to go off. Um, but it's kind of like, it's kind of, card kind of reminds me of Witch's Strike. It's so good when you can pull it off. It's kind of hard to pull it off. But when you do, uh, the benefits are just phenomenal, and uh, it's about yeah, it's about $2 right now, so that's not too bad. If you don't have any, I would get at least a playset. I know I have a playset right now. I, I paid a little bit more than $2, but that was kind of at the hype of when people were kind of bringing up the price a little bit. Uh, Twin Triangle Dragon is about $0.31. Cents. These are kind of cool, the Rule 1 reprint. It's like nothing for thirty cents. Demise is like a quarter, and uh, space gift. This is kind of interesting. This is the one I think it's a draw power. What is this? Draw one card for each different now space in name on the monster you control. Okay, so this is this is a really powerful card. I think. Um, Neo Spaceians are not really competitive, they're not really doing anything. I know they got some new support and people got excited because they're really old artifacts and everything. Pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, this is the highest rarity. Yeah, just two commons. And then this is super rare. Um, this is a crazy draw power for them. So, I mean... I... And it's just super cheap. So, I mean, and I know there's people that like die hard fans of the new space and stuff. So um for like a quarter to like a dollar to like fifty cents, I think it's a good buy. That'd be pretty much it for this set. Going on to the last OTS set here, we have Pack 9, we have Stratos, Ultra Stratos, which is at 28. Lycoris is about 24, 25. Shiz Shizuku is about 24. Polymerization, Super Polymerization, this is, this is silly. Get the secret one. This is, this is this. That's like, this lazy. Sekka's Light is about 3. We have some tokens here. It's, I mean, I guess if you want tokens, a uh, dollar on Rip Podocus. Some random people use this. Is, this is relatively well, cheap. You want to do that? Spoofing super for all three dice players. The dollar. Some more token stuff. Thunder Dragon Matrix. Super rare for the Thunder Dragon players is about a half dollar. Super rare Galaxy Wizard is about 33 cents, 50 cents. Galaxy Expedition is about 30 cents. Oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know that they reprinted nothing here on this. It's a knockoff of the Champion Pack one. <clears throat> the Champion Pack or Tournament Pack, I can't remember. Excuse me, um, turn pack two and turn it pack four. I need to get some of these because I play zombies and dark world and uh, 
this card is at one now. And holy crap, how many is it? There's 22 prints of this card. This is insane. There's 20 different, 22 different prints of more things go out there. It's insane. It's a lot of reprints. Anyway, um, this is, yeah, this is, uh, I have gold wares. I need to get this. This is, um, I need to get this. This is super cheap. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Check this out. Ready for this? This is unheard of. Bam. I'm going to get these. This is definitely a good deal. Um, this card's really easily destroyable, but it's just, it's the fact that if you get it off, it's blowout, depending on what you're playing. So, for under a dollar, for under a half a dollar, that is just a steal. Um, Slaker, Super, will they reprint card destruction again as Slaker? How many times are they going to reprint this card as Slaker? I hate when they do that, when they reprint the same ability. He has so many super weird reprints already. Anyway, speaking of which, the original print structure deck Yugi, Super First Editions are like mad money. They're like 15. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of this here. Um, oh, okay, I lied. Uh, I guess they're like 6. So, disregard. Oh, so long. They used to be a lot more. Um, you don't really get first edition until the second to last page, and yeah, they're about 6. Which is really surprising, because this card is unbanned now. Um, and fully, like, untouched errata-wise, and it's just such a ridiculously good card. Um, I love this card. Um, still too high to buy right now, but then again, I don't really see this card going down anymore because it's so old, this original print and first edition being even more so rare. But that's going to be pretty much it. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, open ended here. This has been a video by the White Mexican. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video.